Why do you play video games? Seriously, why? Is it to get away? To live out a fantasy? Or just to experience the things you can in real life? Like going outside. Anyway, video games are amazing for all of these reasons. And whatever your reason for playing video games, they are just an amazing way to just relax. At least most games. You see, it is Halloween. And I kinda got a scary game. So, I really wanted to make a video out of this game. And, as luck would have it, a fellow YouTuber named Lord Dobersift did too. And, well, the recording on his end kind of didn't go well. Okay, let's... Wait, what... What's happening? Are you freaking... Are you... This is like the... This is the 30th time. Come on. Why? But, everything said and done, it was an amazing experience. It made me think, though, why do we play multiplayer games? To bring us together, right? Well, what if you don't have friends? Do games still do this? Many games have many different ways of interacting. Some have simple communication like a pinging system, while others allow for full-on voice chat. Like SCP Secret Laboratory and Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves uses proximity chat to allow you not only to communicate with your team to effectively and efficiently pilot your ship, but also other teams to make war, peace, or just generally trash talk each other. Now the first thought that came to mind when I thought about voice chat was trash talking call lobbies, followed by a few flashbacks, but I realized, wait, what about horror games? I'm no expert in the horror game genre, but there seems to be a big lack of multiplayer ones, and ones that I have found usually just use party chat, or they just use discord, so it kind of takes the immersion out of it. But that's a big reason I like horror games. They can entrench you in so much immersion and fear. In fact, they hinge on it. A piece of horror media has to enthrall you and encapsulate you. Otherwise, it's all worth nothing. With that being said, I don't generally like being alone when I'm scared because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder like Slenderman is gonna come through my door and make me draw weird pictures and never tell my friends. That's a Marble Hornets reference. Shout out if you get it. Anyway, that's why I like having friends with me. And when horror games are specifically crafted for multiplayer, like SCP, Man of Medan, and Phasmophobia, it creates such a unique experience. First of all, Man of Medan was super cool because it had a single player like experience and immersion similar to that of Resident Evil 7 or Alien Isolation mixed with the buddy. However, SCP and Phasmophobia are completely different beasts. SCP Secret Laboratory was my first and definitive experience with these type of games. Basically, there's this underground research base slash prison housing SCPs or unidentified objects slash aliens. Well, the containment protocols are breached and aliens escape. So you're thrusted into either a prisoner, guard, scientist, or alien, all with different objectives. Everyone goes about trying to escape and accomplish their goals, but to do that, you need others' help. That is basically why voice chat is mandatory to play this game. But as a result, a whole new and different level of immersion is created. As the match continues, new opposing factions show up to help the survivors, and so on and so on. But still, the only way you survive is by coming up with a plan over voice chat, because otherwise the other teams will outsmart you. Requiring players to have voice chat and form a community of sorts gets to the heart of what can make scary things so empowering. It creates a sense of strength and companionship. Phasmophobia isn't quite as community focused as that, but it still does its fair share. All that Lord Dobershift explained where Phasmophobia is. 
Ah, uh, Phasmophobia. One of the only few horror games that rewards you for seeking the ghost rather than running from the ghost. You are plopped down, given a few tools, then told to go and classify the paranormal activity. Now, funny enough, Phasmophobia means an intense fear of ghost. And this game kind of helps you get over that fear. You are meant to face the ghost. You face your fear. Which is, which is a unique take. It's, it's fresh. You choose how involved you want to get into the investigation. You, you choose your location, you choose your tools, then you choose how long you want to stay and investigate. Phasmophobia gives you the option to leave the investigation at any time. You aren't forced to stay. The game gives you the choice to stay, and you choose to stay. Or choose to leave. And, and trust me, there are plenty of times you just want to pack up and go, especially when your old pal Rilaren is murdered by a ghost. Using voice chat forces players to work together to survive. If you communicate, you can manipulate the ghost and survive. But if you don't, there's a good chance death will sneak up on you. It's a choice, like Lord Dobrishev said. This game also has the best proximity chat I have ever heard, pushing the immersion through the roof. This, mixing with Phasmophobia's team-based objectives and problems, allows the players to innovate, think, and adapt to each situation, keeping the game decently fresh at all times. This is usually the part where I tell you my own story from the game, but I'll also let Lord Dobrishev to take care of it this time. Enjoy. Alright, here, here's some story time. It was after us. I could hear it coming down the hallway. I quickly ducked into a nearby closet, shut off my lights, and prayed. I could hear Rilarn still running, his voice crackling over the radio, trying to find out what was going on, thick with panic. Do I call and inform him of the threat, risking being found, or do I stay silent and hope for the best? Rilarn's voice comes across the radio again. He was being pursued by something. But then, silence. The house we were investigating was muted of all sound. I crept out of the closet and checked my surroundings. No one was to be seen. I called out for my team via the radio and only one team member answered. They had managed to make it back to the truck and were anxiously trying to get a sit rep. But where was Rilaren? He was yet to answer. I searched the upper floor I was on briefly to no avail. As I rounded the corner and peered down the flight of stairs, I located Rilaren. His corpse was crumpled on the floor just inches from the front door. The poor man must have frantically tried to escape the house when it got him. At this point, it was determined we should cut our losses and go, leaving the soul of Rilaren to whatever dark fates possessed it. <laughs> Uh, probably definitely one of those ditch out moments, but a, a braver individual could have stayed, figured out what horrible entity occupied the house, and that's what's kind of awesome about this game. Every investigation is a personal story unique just for you. Not many games have that ability, yet alone to have the ability to do it with friends. You are rewarded for staying and progressing the investigation. The more evidence you acquire, the more money you make, allowing you to purchase tools that make the next investigation that much easier. There is incentive to stay, or you can nope out like I did. You create your own story, and I love games like that. Wow, that was a little too accurate and scary. <laughs> but seriously, that's what this game is about. But it's not what the game inspires. This game and these type of games bring about a sense of community and camaraderie. And I mean, in this time, of great turmoil and isolation. It's nice to be able to find that sense of friendship and community. After all, we are stronger together. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a super fun video to make. My first recent collab. And let me just say, Lord Dobershift is a super fun person. And I really, really enjoyed making this video with him. I'll let Lord Dobrishift take over for one last time. I'm grateful for the chance to be able to have played this game with Rilaren. 
And if you're interested in more of these craft your own story type games, you can head over to my YouTube channel called Guild of Noobs or aka Lord Doversift for a good time. Also be sure to like and sub to Rilaran, he works hard and he plays harder. And with that I'll send it back to you Rilaran. Happy Halloween! I figured I'd do a Halloween themed video because I've never done one before. And I thought it was about time. Now, on to the recommended channel. This week, I recommended Lord Dobershift. Now, I know that's a bit of a cheat, but seriously, he was a great and amazing dude to work with. And honestly, a new personal friend. His content is slightly story slash comedy based, but it goes in depth too, and it's really well done. So definitely go check him out. Do you like horror games? Why or why not? What is your favorite? Let me know the answers to these questions down in the comments below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more pop culture and gaming content. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, guys.